Breaking news, Buhari must go protest rocks Abuja. Some of the complaints include a worsening security, poor economy and massive unemployment. Some protesters have taken to the streets of Abuja, Nigeria's capital city, to demand the exit of President Muhammad Buhari. The protest tagged Buhari must go started in the early hours of today being the 1st of October 2020, where the protesters chanting Buhari must go and anti-government slogans and also singing solidarity forever. Well, a video seen by us shows that some protesters saying they could not even burn a tire because there was no fuel to do so, which was a veiled reference to how premium motor spirit PMS, also known as petrol, had increased under the government of Buari from 87 naira to over 160 naira. The protesters could be heard chanting, Say democracy be this, say democracy be this, people they die like flies, say democracy be this, people are dying like flies, is this democracy? Also on democracy day, many Nigerians also trooped to the streets in many states across the country to say they were tired of the government of Buari. Some of the complaints include a worsening insecurity poor economy and a massive unemployment. For instance, in Ibadan, Oyo State and Akure, Ondo State, social economic activities were grounded to a halt following the 1st of October protest and back on by youth. The youth in their numbers took to the street to join their counterparts across the country to demand good governance and end the challenges confronting the country. As early as about 6 a.m., the youth converged on various locations in the capital cities chanting Buhari must go. Hashtag Buhari must go slogan was started by the revolution now movement of the human rights activist Omo Yeli Sowari. Well, this is what is happening in Nigeria as we speak. Youths are on the streets of Abuja with placards and with banners saying Buhari must go. They are tired of this current administration. Problems are increasing, the insecurity is becoming a worse, is worsening, and so many other things are happening in our country. What is actually there to celebrate? Can we pinpoint any landmark that this government has established that we can see we are celebrating? Because are we celebrating the loan that Buari has been borrowing? When he came into office, we had only, I think we were, we were in debt of only, I think, 12 trillion naira. But as I speak to you, six years after him in office, he has borrowed more and we are owing over 36. It has tripled 36 trillion naira. That's what we are owing all those Western countries that we borrowed money for. And they are still seeking for more loans from these foreign countries. I saw in news recently that the federal government is trying to build a railway in another country, which is Niger. You can imagine such action. You can imagine such actions happening in a country like this, in a sovereign nation like our nation that is not under any colonial rulers but we are still trying to help another country with money we borrowed borrowing money to build the railway in another man's country i also heard that buari is trying to build a naval base in Kano. who does that these are all from the money being borrowed building a naval base in Kano, where there is no seaport there is no water there is nothing there what will navy be doing in Kano? It has never been heard of in any Nigerian state whereby a Navy base is centered when there is no water because we all know Navy has to do with security and security of the hydro sector, which is the water. So building a Navy base in Kano has no meaning in that state. But well, this is what you see when we put a people that has only or that are not well educated or not, are not mentally sound in governance. You see so many ills, so many wrong moves, you see so many things happening in the country thereby setting us backward. There was a country before where fuel was just 65 naira. A bag of sugar was I think 3,500 naira. Fertilizer was 2,000 something. A bag of cement was just 750 and so many other things were so cheap in this country. But as I speak to you today, one dollar equals 520 naira and so many other, even more safer because I've not checked the, the, the update but the last time I check it was 520 naira and I'm sure it keeps on rising. Well, this is what happens in Nigeria and also in same vein, the IPOP members have urged all youths in Nigeria, all mothers, all fathers to join them in the seat at home order being today 1st of October. They are calling on every tribe, they are calling on the Yoruba agitators, the Oduduwa Republic, they are calling on northerners and everybody that wants the progress of Nigeria to sit at home because there is nothing worth celebrating. Well, I don't know if you have something to celebrate for, I don't know if the government, the economy has been favoring you. I don't know if this ASU strike 
concurrently has been favoring you. I don't know if the hospital or the medical sector has been favoring you. I don't know whether you have been enjoying the good road, good road while traveling around Nigeria. I don't know if you have been employed, if you're a graduate. I don't know if the economy has favored you. But well, with my opinion and what I've observed in the nation, well, this country has really been going down. You can't really measure the progress. You can't really count our progress since 1960 till date. And this regime has really been the worst inside all because apart from me saying this the international nations and international countries have ranked us in a very bad position rank, rank, ranking us in one of the world uh, in poverty stricken nation with also terrorism and also things that are bad ranking us or putting us in that aspect in the world well what are your thoughts and opinion concerning this as i speak to you most of the town in the ipob nation are shut down people are in their various houses market motor parks um, churches and mosques and hospitals schools and even banks are, are, are shut down people are at their home and they don't want to come out because uh, apart from this mass in nam you cannot see that home order there is nothing worth celebrating. You cannot find a Nigerian that will tell you that he's excited among the masses, not among the elite, among the, the, the politicians, among the masses that will tell you that he's excited about what is happening and he wants to go out and celebrate and call Nigeria, oh, the giant of Africa. We have lost that a long time ago, according to Yesum Viki. We have lost that a long time ago. Nigeria is no more the giant of Africa because I speak to you now. If you have 1,000 Ghana CDs, you're a big man in Nigeria. Ghana country, the country of Ghana that we pursued long time ago. Ghana must go. Ghana must go. We pursued them out of our country. They went to their own nation and established themselves. And now their currency is equivalent to Chinese currency. Their currency is bigger than our own by far. Even the Naira has lost the value. That even the Fran Francophone countries are, are now having a higher currency than Nigeria. So we have lost that right of being the giant of Africa. We are like the rats of Africa now. But I think that we need to do something and something needs to be done fast. Well, what are your thoughts and opinion concerning this Buhari must go protest that rocks Abuja and also the seats at home that is going on currently in different parts of Nigeria? We also see some foreigners protesting today. We also see some foreigners protesting today online. Well, the lovers of Nigeria are many, but those are struggling to bring Nigeria down will never succeed. Well, drop your comment in the comment section below. Let us know what you think about this happening and let us know what you think that we can do to help Nigeria move forward. Well, this is a nation voice tower when we drop the undiluted news. We call a speed a speed on this platform. We don't have any time to sugarcoat any news. So if you want to stay updated with things happening in Nigeria, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button, hit that bell by the side so whenever you drop our quality content, you will be notified. So if you have enjoyed this news, please subscribe. And if you haven't enjoyed our news, please also hit that subscribe button. Do have a wonderful day, happy independence or sad independence and God loves you. Have a wonderful weekend. <laughs>